Okay, me and Carter are out here today digging and uh, digging some rental houses. And, uh, I'm using AT Pro the moment here, and it is killer on coins. Check out this. Let me find it. Good penny signal. 76, 77. Only two inches deep. So let's uh let's dig that and see what it is. Most likely a coin. Okay. It wasn't too deep, so should be in here. Oh, this is my new Garrett Pro Pointer if you haven't noticed. Look at that. Modern penny. Stinking Lincoln. Yeah. Could have been a week back. Let's keep on digging and see what else we can find. I got another good signal with AT Pro here. It's been about 15 minutes since my last uh, time I recorded. It's a piece of metal off something. Who knows? Not a coin though. So here's a unique find. About, about three inches. It's an old razor. Here we go. Old razor. Pretty cool. Another great hit right here. 82. Two inches deep, so put that down real quick and uh, dig it. These AT Pros are real great machines for hunting on land and water. Yep. Just a bottle cap. Okay, I just got a wheat scent here. It's the second one I dug. Just dug one right there. So hopefully I can find some silver in a bit. Not sure what year this one is, but probably 1950s or so. So, yeah, get back to you when I find some. Okay, we're still else. digging these 1950s houses and 40s. And uh, got a good signal down about, I don't know, 8 inches. And here it is. It's, I hit it right there. It's a um, thingamabobber off a of Model T Ford coil box. That's pretty cool. Unique find. I like finding these. So, Kurt over there just dug some silver. So, hopefully, we'll find some, and uh, I'll show y'all while I recover it. Dug a wheat scent here. Wheat scent number three. That's pretty good. Getting there with AT Pro. It's 1941. It looks like. And it's down about I don't know five or six inches. And found with the Garrett AT Pro. Okay, we changed locations, and I just got a great quarter signal here. And uh, it's not a quarter, it's a dime. See, there it is. It's a silver for sure. Wow. It's been six months. Got a silver coin. It's a rosy. 1960. Man, that's awesome. It's a good find there. Show you find anything else. We changed locations again. Uh, there's three or four houses over there we detected. And there's one right here. And um, just dug a wheat penny. Kind of nicked it a little bit on the, the front, but... It's a wheat scent. We're doing pretty good. I, I've probably dug, uh, well, that's a lot of trash there. Two or three dollars in worth in stinking Lincolns and part of a toy gun. So hopefully we can find some okay, more. We're at our old slave cabin here. All the boards have been replaced, and there's a whole bunch of crap on the floor. But here it is. People lived in it for several uh, g generations, I guess you could say, long time. So I just came over here beside this big tree. Got a good signal with AT Pro down six inches, and it's a, it's a wheat penny for sure. I already looked at it. There it is. Oh, nice wheat scent. So that's a good start for this site. Maybe there's some silver. Still at the same site, slave cabin. It's been redone because they lived in it for three generations, but they don't live in it now. It's in a guy's uh, farm field in his backyard. They got permission to dig it, and uh, we're digging it, so. So far, just junk, a wheat penny, like a little, like part of a button or maybe a knob off a dresser drawer, and uh, some shotgun shells. AT Pro is just a great machine for these type of places because uh, I have it in Pro Zero. Iron disc is at 35, so I haven't found any nails whatsoever. I don't know if y'all can see that, but not any nails. 
and uh, you can hunt up right beside this house foundation and not get one not find one nail whatsoever unless it's with your pin pointer and you just pull out the non ferrous items and that's just a great thing about the AT Pro with the F75 you'd, you'd probably still pull out the items but you'd get a lot more nails stuff with them now what is this uh, oh, I got a good signal here I dug a shotgun shell right there order one and um, it's a wheat penny down in here I've already looked at it so that's pretty cool <laughs> Kurt hasn't been digging any. I hadn't yeah. been digging any pennies. 1941. That's on purpose. Oh, he passed over this on purpose. So. Just okay, I just that. got a great signal here at the AT Pro. It was down at least eight inches, and there she is. Yep, Mercury Dime. 1945. It looks like. Whoop. Yeah. 1945. Man, second silver of the day. That's awesome. Let's keep on digging. Maybe there's more in the Okay, hole. I just dug a good signal here and it's a silver ring. Probably solid sterling silver or something, but a little bit tarnished. It's a great find, man. Having a great day with this AT Pro. Hey everyone, there's all my finds I found today. My buddy Kurt took me to some good sites. He found a lot too, just as much. Uh, anyway, I'll start out with my silver. It's been six months I've had a silver coin, but I got a 1945 Mercury dime. As you can see, I haven't, haven't even cleaned my stuff yet. I'm just getting home. A 1960 Rosie has a D mint mark. I got 10 wheat pennies. I thought I had 11, so maybe there's one in this clad pile. I didn't check. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is in clad. We'll see. I got two quarters. Who knows? I mean, I'll post it on the, when I make the video how much it is. Um, old rimfire cartridge. See where it's been fired. Old one. Uh, four house keys. A dog tag, a rabies vaccination, haven't cleaned it yet, but there it is. Um, a razor blade injector, and a big one. A silver ring, I think it's silver, sterling probably. See where I hit my shovel. Uh, I'll tell you if it has anything on it. It might be aluminum, but I'm almost sure it's silver. It's a little bit tarnished. Piece to a toy gun, another piece to a toy gun, another piece to a toy gun. I all found it at three different sites, so it's pretty cool. Um, some bullet casings. Uh, Kurt found a lock. He didn't want it. Um, three cars. Thing off a little water nozzle. Now all this was found at the AT Pro. Every single bit of this was found at the AT Pro except three cents. So AT Pro is an awesome coin hunter, especially at them old houses. You can just put that iron disc at 40 and go right up against them foundations and pull out all the silver you want. Now this one right here was about 8, 9, 10 inches deep. I was impressed that I found that with the AT Pro. A little Chevy emblem there. That's about it for today. Some small items like a crushed 22 case and I dug it 6 inches. So let's check out the trash. I had to dig all these holes. It's about, I don't know, 400 holes. Every single bit of these holes to dig what I have up there. All this is, every single bit of this is junk. Now I actually, uh, after about, a, I don't know, 100 holes, I eliminated pull tabs and foil. And most of this showed up as penny, dime, and quarter range. And some of that just iron halo. So, AT Pro is a great machine for relic hunting and coin hunting.